Hello all. In this video, we will see shift reduce parsing. Uh, shift reduce parsing as a very generic bottom up parsing algorithm. Uh, before uh, in uh, seeing shift reduce parsing in detail, we will see handles and handle pruning. So uh, basically, if you are considering an example, the grammar is gives a a and a gives a a or b, and if we have this string at hand, which is some a b b, uh, then um, handle is the leftmost substring which matches with the right hand side of some prediction and when we replace that handle with the left hand side you will get one step ahead in the rightmost previous step in the rightmost derivation for example see if you derive this uh, from this grammar if you want to derive uh, a b b using rightmost derivation what you should be doing is you will convert and then write s gives a a you should derive a a from s then from a a uh, you will be substituting for this a as b then because we are following a rightmost derivation now the first a can be replaced by uh, a a b now the left rightmost uh, non terminal as this a that can be replaced by b again so this is how you can get uh, r a b b using rightmost derivational generator rightmost non terminal a is replaced by b now this uh, rightmost non terminal this a is replaced by a a now this rightmost non terminal a is replaced by b b a b so you can get a b b isn't it so handle is the uh, leftmost substring that matches with the right hand side of a production and when you replace that string with its left hand side you may get one step ahead in the rightmost derivation reverse of the rightmost derivation for example in a b b a is not the right hand side of any grammar so that is not a handle a b is not the right hand side of any production so that is not a handle but b is the right hand side of the production so when you replace b with its left hand side you will get a a b that is the previous step in the rightmost derivation in reverse isn't it so b is said to be a handle so this is actually handles that is it is the leftmost substring when you replace and that is the right hand side of the production when you replace that with the left hand side of the production you will get one step ahead in the rightmost derivation in reverse okay so handle pruning is actually the process of creating a rightmost derivation in reverse for example we have the input a b b now we are uh, identifying the handle and the production we can check whether we will get the uh, rightmost derivation in reverse so initially we are starting with abb we are starting with the string and we have to get the get back to the start symbol of the grammar okay that is we are generating the rightmost derivation in reverse order so a b b a is not the right hand side of any production so it is not a handle b a b is not the right hand side of any production so it is not a handle but b is the right hand side of a production so b is the handle here and the production is a gives b now you can replace uh, this b by a so you will get a a b now a a is a handle so a a is a handle the production is a gives a a now you can replace a a by a left hand side so you get a b isn't it now a is not a handle but b is so b is a handle now when you re that is a gives b is the production when you replace b by a you will get a a so again a a is a handle and the left hand side is s so you are getting uh, the rightmost derivation in reverse order see that is s is direct to a okay yeah that is s when you write this s gives a a a, a gives a b a b gives a a b and that gives a b b so that is actually the rightmost derivation in reverse so handle pruning is the process of deriving a rightmost derivation in reverse starting from the string of the grammar okay
so this is used in shift reduce passing so we will see how does the shift reduce passing work taking an example so we will have we have the grammar s gives a a and a gives a a or b we will take the very same example now we have this tag with dollar as the bottom and marker we have the input as a b b now we have actions shift reduce parser has different actions you will see them right away so the first step is the parser will keep on moving input symbols on to this tag till it see uh, a handle on the top of this tag so here what it does is it shift a shift so it becomes dollar a b b here now a is not a handle so it keep on shifting so shift is the action now it is shifting b on to the top of this tag so it is b now see b is a handle isn't it so what it does is it will reduce the handle with the left hand side so it will reduce b to capital a which is the left hand side of b now a a is again a handle so it will reduce a a input is b now reduce so it will get capital a now capital a is not a handle so it so it will shift b on to this tag now this input becomes empty now action is b is a handle so it reduces it so i will get a a now input is empty so a a is again a handle so it reduces it and you get the start symbol as on the top of this tag when you when you can get the start symbol at the end you say that uh, the input string given is uh, syntactically correct according to the grammar so this is the actions uh, the stack initially contain dollar the bottom end marker input is here the action part now the parser keep on moving characters from the input on to the top of the stack till it see a handle on the top of the stack when it see a handle on the top of the stack it reduces that with the left hand side of the corresponding protection so the operations are shift and reduce then uh, when this happens when the uh, start symbol appears on the top of the stack and input is empty uh, takes an action which is accept meaning that the string is accepted otherwise it will take an error action so shift reduce accept and error are the four actions of any shift reduce parser thank you